Ward is also dealing with the teacher shortage. It's a problem not just unique to Duval. Despite St. John's County's good reputation and A rating, its schools are also having trouble attracting teachers. Channel 4's Chris Parento joins us now live from the Duval County School Board building. Chris, how has this problem become so widespread? Bruce, the superintendent in St. John's County, says he believes that this could be because of multiple reasons. He says because of the demands being so high and the pay at times being so low for teachers that college students are shying away from the profession entirely. He says because of that and the shortage happening not just across the area and the state but the country, it's up to districts to figure out a way to solve the problem. Public education has taken a lot of criticism probably in the last eight to ten years, and so it's not as appealing probably as a young adult uh, to want to go into the teaching profession. Uh, there's more expectations each and every year on teachers. St. John's County Superintendent Tim Forson says it's happening all over the state, even in St. John's County. St. John's County will hire around 200 new teachers for the upcoming school year to fill retirement and resignation gaps. They also are constantly growing, so they need more teachers every year. We're starting to see uh, the same same concerns that other districts are having as well. And, um, you know, it is especially important in those critical needs areas when you're talking about sciences, uh, upper level sciences that are difficult to fill and some of the uh, special education positions that are that are challenging exceptional ed programs that are difficult to fill. Studies show enrollment in education majors dropped 35 percent between 2009 and 2014. Despite the drop, expectations remain the same. In Clay County, there are 72 jobs posted for vacant positions next school year. Duval County has started a new initiative called Ready, Set, Teach, hoping to get at least 50 new teachers into elementary schools through the program. The program is designed to take people who have bachelor's degrees in other areas and certify them as teachers. If you want more information about this program, we've posted it on our website. There will also be an information and screening session happening on May 5th here at DCPS headquarters. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.